Welcome to Voices in Mystery. I'm your host, Nancy Carlson. Our first guest today is someone who's been on the show two or three times before, and that's John Gilstrap. Welcome. Hi, nice to be back. We first had John on when his phenomenal first book, Nathan's Run, uh, won an award, an Alex Award, Alex I think award, is the name yes. of it, and uh, went on to be optioned for a film. I think you even wrote the screenplay for that film. And, that doesn't uh, mean the film gets made, but yeah, at least... So it yeah. didn't. What a disappointment. <laughs> it was. So how Continues did, to be. How does that happen? I mean, is it still sitting on somebody's desk in Hollywood? It is. It's still, it's in turnaround at Warner Brothers, which means Warner Brothers made the decision they're not going to make the movie in the immediate future, but they don't want anybody else to make it either. So they just sit on the rights. So did they... Right. So they... They bought the rights they, outright. Right. And, and, oh, forever. Forever and throughout the universe. That's actually the, oh that's the contract goodness, language the is forever and throughout so the universe. So this will not be made on Mars. Uh, correct. Oh. At least not the well, Mars we know. Them. Yeah. They might make yeah. it. But, well, that is so frustrating because it was a great story. That's, that's one that I remember from the first time I interviewed you. And I'll just jump to today. You have a book coming out in 09. Tell I us do. about that. Jonathan Grave is a freelance hostage rescue specialist. Uh, when I was writing Six Minutes to Freedom, which is a nonfiction book that deals with the only civilian of record ever rescued by Delta Force, I got to interview a lot of these Delta Force guys. And they're, they're salt of the earth types of, they're gentlemen and they're gentlemen who are capable of this huge violence when, when called on. So I thought, what a cool idea for a series to have this guy who's former Delta operator who runs a freelance hostage rescue. If you want a loved one back and you're not necessarily interested in evidence, you're not interested in stuff that can be in a court of law, you just want your loved one back, you hire Jonathan Grave. Does he work within the system following all the rules? When the system allows him to work within it, yes, but the system doesn't hold him back. Ah, I see. And But he does this for pay. He's not a volunteer. He's a professional. He's a professional. Rescue. He runs a, a it's Security Solutions is the name of, of his company in a uh, fictional town called uh, Fisherman's Cove. And what state? What part Virginia, of the state? Virginia, northern neck of Virginia, where oh. I'm from. So. Oh, so you know the turf. I do. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Who's the publisher? Publisher is Pinnacle, which is an arm of Kensington. And is that someone you've published with in the past? That's what Six Minutes of Freedom came out. Okay, good. So this is somebody you know, and they say it's going to be out in 09, so they you know it'll really be there. love it. So I love it too. That's it's, wonderful. I'm very, very excited about this. I've never done a series before, so but this is a character. I've landed on him, and I just, I, you know, he's got the meat and, and the chops to carry on a bunch of books, I hope. Now that you've had a little taste of Hollywood, how do you hustle this book to be optioned by a film company? Well, I don't. I have an agent who does that for me. Uh. And hustle's the right word, you know. It's, Hollywood is, is a different place, you know. It, it's, um, they don't, they, they treat you really, really nicely for as long as they need you, and then you're not treated so nicely anymore, but then they hire you back later, and I walk back into the same propeller over again. So, you know, oh, it's... Oh, it's heartbreaking. Well, it's not, you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, um, Hollywood is, uh, it's different than New York publishing. I mean, it, it's Hollywood movie making, where nothing is real, and in, including the conversations you have with people. And, and, and that's fine, I, and I, I don't want to sound bitter, because it, it's just the way the town works. If you ever watch Entourage? Yeah. Okay, that's it. That is, wow. that is, that's like nonfiction Hollywood. Someone told me that everybody says yes and only few people mean it. You know, they I just was make working, feel like it. I was working on the Warner lot writing uh, an adaptation of Nelson, um, Nelson, not to Nelson, the Mills, um, Norman McLean's book, Young Men in Fire. Oh, sure, I know that book. Yeah, oh, it's a great book. And it turns out they didn't really want to adapt the book. They wanted to do a smoke jumper book and call it Young Men in Fire. But that notwithstanding, I was working on the Warner lot in this office, and every Tuesday, I think, they would take pitches from script, uh, screenwriters. I never heard the pitches because they were behind closed doors, but the doors would open up, and you'd hear, oh, this, this is great. We love this. Thank you so much for bringing it to us. And these writers, you know, they're high as kites. They leave, the door closes, and the producers say, was that not the worst thing you've ever heard in oh, your life? Oh, no. So you knew so, that they didn't yeah. mean I mean, it. But it's just the way the town works. It's kind of a... Um, it's a soulless place that I'll work in again in a heartbeat because, you know, the pay is good and it's, you know, it just is what it is. Yeah, you just don't set your whole life on it. You're in Northern Virginia f writing full time? Yes. Wow, yeah. that was quite a commitment to leave the paycheck behind somewhere. Yeah. Well, I've always, I grew up in Northern Virginia, so I've always, even when I was doing the Hollywood work, I would fly out and work there and then come back. FedEx, email, and airplanes. You don't need to live in Hollywood anymore. 
That's wonderful. So, unless you want to be a full-time screenwriter, and yeah. that's, I'm not interested in that. Yeah. Um, do you, what, what's missing when you write a screenplay? Are you, are you finding that um, you're writing a lot more dialogue and a lot less business or action? No, I think what's really missing is not so much, it's the fact, the knowledge that everything you're writing is not your own. Uh, Hollywood work is all work for hire. So the, the product of a screenplay, even if it's an original screenplay, I've done adaptations of, of other books, Nelson DeMille and Thomas Harris and, and, and others, but even if you create a movie idea from scratch and you write your own screenplay and you sell it, it's not yours. You don't own the copyright mm. that goes to the studio. So I think that's the most difficult part about Hollywood because at the end of the day, anybody can change your words without even asking you first. So you might not be invited on the set. You might not be invited to make Correct. changes. Or, Correct. Or... They will hire another screenwriter to... To, in fact, I have been in that role. I've come in to fix somebody else's screenplay and make it better. And then if they ultimately hire a, a director to, to do the film, he hires his screenwriter, and then you get the star who counts lines and finds out he doesn't have enough, so he hires his own screenwriter. So by the time it's done, you know, the, the original screenwriter gets kind of lost in the shuffle, which actually happened to me with, with Red Dragon. I was a first writer on that on the movie. And, and I'll tell the, the, the audience who doesn't know, that's the... Uh, Prequel? It was the prequel to, to uh, Silence, Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs, Tom Harris's right. novel. Wonderful novel. It's a and great novel. It actually was a great film, so I don't want to make Well, it would have bad. been better if my name was on it. But no, it yeah, is a great film. I it's really a really, really good it. film. enjoyed it. And so you wrote that screenplay. And well, Ted Talley wrote it officially. He's, he's, the, he's the screenwriter. I have to be a little careful here. but On the yes. credit. So, ouch. That hurts. <laughs> Do you prefer screenwriting over mystery fiction? No, no. writing writing fiction. Be, you know, it's I get to create the entire universe when I write a book. Uh, I get to do the dialogue, set dressing, you know, the, the whole nine yards, and nobody can change it without my permission. And you own your copyright. Yeah, I mean that book belongs to you. Right. It's your intellectual property. Exactly for my lifetime plus seventy years, which is plenty. Well, now I presume that Grave Secrets is long written and yes. sitting on a desk. It's somewhere. in the can. In fact, Grave Retribution is well along the way, which is oh, the sequel to it. Oh, that's what I was going to so. ask. So, set me up on that one. What's the different? What what happens next on the in the former well, Delta in, Force? Well, in in like. Grave Secrets is um, it, it, in the early stages in the opening passages of the book. Uh, he's in the middle of what's an O three hundred mission, is what Delta calls a rescue mission. And nothing goes right. I mean, it, there's just, it, it's, it just isn't going like most missions do. And by the time it shakes out, people who are very, very close to him are actually becoming very badly hurt as a result of mm. his actions on, on those. So that becomes resolved, and we get to meet the, the people of Fisherman's Cove and his background, and, and we take care of a bad guy. And in the next one, um, the, the, the bad guys come to his home, essentially, and Ooh. his hometown. And... That's a bad thing. You, you don't want to take off Jonathan Gray. He's, he's a <laughs> great friend and a terrible enemy. <laughs> Is he a Chuck Norris kind of guy? No, no. He's a very unassuming, very nice. He's a philanthropist. He uh, he's, comes from significant money, which he gave away when his father, who got all the money, went to prison. And, wow. Uh, so, Good backstory there. Yeah, there's a lot of backstory. Yeah. I've never had this much fun writing a book. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for being on Thanks our show Thanks for having me. It's today. always fun. We've been visiting with John Gilstrap, who's come to see us again. And be sure to look for his book, Grave Secrets, which comes out in 09. Congratulations and come back often. Thank you much.